So I usually put the food down in um, areas where there's so like thistles and dock leaves, things I don't really want to be a big part of the field. And the pigs will then dig them up or trample them, which then allows other things to grow. If you put pigs on land, they become very fertile because obviously you're feeding them extra and they're eating grass and they're returning their dung to the soil. So it's obviously adding a lot of fertilization. I put down seed as well. So um, the pigs dig that into the soil and then they'll move on. So then you end up with more forage for them to eat, which a lot of people use machines for. So that's quite a good way using pigs. We don't use any pesticides or um, herbicides or anything like that. I've rarely use antibiotics here. I've only used it on about, well, less than 10 pigs since I've had pigs. So, I mean, there's things growing here like, you know, the, the, these are things I've planted. These are like brassicas that are growing. They're a rape care hybrid. This is buckwheat. This is chicory. Um, and this is its flower, actually. Now they're eating thistles, which is great. If you watch her, look, she's very delicately eating a thistle. Well, what most people would say is a weed. I mean, if she's eating it and she's getting nutrition from it, I'm not sure you can call it a weed. <laughs> Nothing is a weed for a pig. <laughs> These are a few of my sows with their piglets. Pigs are forest animals, really. There's a lot of acorns coming around at the moment. They're just sort of starting to fall off the trees. The piglets think of me as their mum. <laughs> they make noises that when they see their mum, then, then they um, make those noises to me <laughs> for the first couple of weeks. So the original kind of thing of why you know, people buy meat from me is because they like the whole um, story behind it. But then if, you know, it's, it's kind of then, if you taste it, then that's what makes people come back, isn't it? You kind of get people who say, I don't know what I'm going to do in life, and I'm there like, I'm going to be a farmer. <laughs> I often feel sorry for pigs that are stuck in factory farms, you know, on slats and sows in their farrowing crates with nothing to do. They're not being able to express their natural behaviours like these guys. So, yeah, I turn my nose up to factory farming. <laughs>